Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, we will see how to enable reviews on the WooCommerce product page. So here you will see the reviews option on the WooCommerce product page. We will also install a free plugin which will give you an additional feature to the reviews option. And let me show you how does this look. Now here you will see the histogram of the reviews. Here you will see the search box. And here you will see upward or downward visitor of your website will be able to upward or downward to the reviews. Now here you will see question and answer section. So customer will be able to ask questions and you will be able to answer the questions. So these are the additional features that we are going to add to the products page in WooCommerce. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. And this is one of the products that I have opened on the screen. And here I do not see any reviews option for this product. So first, I'll need to enable the reviews option for this product. So let's go to edit product. So this is the product page. Now here you will see the option advanced, go to advanced. And here you will see the option enable reviews. So first we will need to enable the reviews. So check this box and click on update. Right now let's view the product again. Now here I see the option for reviews. So now the customers will be able to post reviews about this product. This position of reviews depends on the layout that you are using for the product. It also depends on the theme that you are using for your WooCommerce website. So you may see reviews option here or it may be here or it may be at the end. So it depends on the template or the theme that you are using for WooCommerce. Now let's try to publish a review. So I'm going to five star and let's add some dummy review and click on submit okay so this is the review now let's go to products and then here you will see the option reviews go to reviews so here you will see the review that i have just published now let me open this product page in a different browser so i am opening the same product in a different browser and you will see one review here now let me publish one more review and click submit so this is one of the users account that we have okay now here you will see your review is awaiting approval so whenever someone posts the review it will be held for approval by the administrator so let's go back to the admin account and let's refresh it okay now here you will see the review that we have just published using one of the users account now you will need to approve this review so click on approve and let's refresh the page and here you will see that review has been approved and it will be shown on the website itself so this is very basic review system of woocommerce now we are going to add a free plugin which will give you additional features for the reviews so customer will be able to upload images to the reviews people will also be able to upload or download so let's go to the dashboard and let's go to plugins click on add new now this free plugin will also send email to the customer for the review so it will send them a reminder for the review so it will send an email to the customer after a certain number of days that your review is pending so customer will be able to click on the button and they will be able to publish reviews so here search for woocommerce customer reviews so this is the plugin that we are going to install so it has 50,000 plus active installations and the name of the plugin is customer reviews for WooCommerce by Gus Rev so click on install now now click on activate all right so the plugin has been activated and here you will see the option reviews so under reviews you will see settings go to settings so first we will make the settings of this plugin so this is the first option a review reminder reminders for customer review configure the plugin to send automatic or manual follow-up emails or reminders that collect store and product reviews so we will need to check this box enable 
now the website will send automatic email to the customer okay so this is no verification and independently verified so Cusrev have their own verification system so right now we are going to use this one no verification and this is sending delay of five days so after purchasing the product after the order is completed after five days of completed order it will send a reminder to the customer for the review so let's if you want to change it you can change it so let me change it to three and it will send email after three days of completed order so this is the status processing or completed so we will keep it on completed enable for all categories of products if you want to specify simple any category you can enter the category here enable for roles so I'm going to set it to all roles enable for guests enable sending of review reminders to customers who place orders without an account so that will be for guest checkout reminder scheduler so I'll leave it as it is enable manual reminders enable manual sending of follow-up emails with a reminder to submit a review so I'm going to uncheck it so we are going to set it to automatic so uncheck this one limit number of reminders so enable this checkbox to make sure that no more than one review reminder is sent for each order so we are going to send only one reminder. so let this box be checked customer consent if this option is enabled customer will be asked to tick a checkbox on the checkout page so there will be a checkbox on the checkout page so I'm going I'm not going to change it now register customer by default review reminders are sent to billing emails provided by the customer during checkout so let's let it check moderation of reviews enable manual moderation of reviews submitted by verified customer so you are going to enable the manual moderation of reviews exclude free products so if you want to exclude free products you can check this box okay so this is your shop name email template we are going to configure it later A review from template so this is the header and this is the body and this is the color so let's save the changes now this is a reviews extension now enable attachment of images to reviews so we are going to check this box so that customer will be able to attach image to the review so let's check this box how many images they can attach I am going to set it to 3 and this is the maximum size of the image in MB so I'm going to set it to 2 disable light box leave it as it is if you want to enable recapture on reviews you can also enable recapture so that it will limit the fake reviews to enable this you will need recapture site key and secret key so you can go to recapturegoogle.com and from there you can add your website for recapture and get the keys from google recapture now reviews summary bar enable display of histogram table with a review with a summary of reviews on a product page so i'm going to check this vote for reviews enable this one enable people to upvote or downvote reviews so i'm going to check this one remove plugins branding so i'm going to check it if you want you can uncheck it verified owner this is the replace the standard verified owner label that WooCommerce had so I'm not going to make any changes here so lazy load check it and let's save the changes okay now let's see review for discount enable discount on a reviews then you can check it from here so this will encourage people to post reviews of products so you can give them some discount whenever they publish any reviews on products so you need to check this and uh, this is the reply to address okay now this is tier 1 tier 2 and tier 3 let's see with this one if you already have any coupon you can attach that coupon no coupon or existing coupon so I'm going to leave it as it is I'm going to change it to new coupon all rules all rules existing coupon and uh, let's say a percentage discount or let's make it fixed product discount coupon amount will be let's say 50 rupees allow free shipping so these are the other settings that you can go through and you can set up the extra discount so let's save the changes now let's go to the next one license key 
Okay, so they have professional license key and they, you can also use a free license key. About free license key, basic features of this plugin such as social media integration, analytics, replies to reviews are available for free, it, but it requires free license key. So you need to create a free license key. So you can click here, register for free license key. So I'm going to do it. So here I have received the email with the license key. So let me confirm the email and I guess I need to create an account. So this is the dashboard of the cusrave.com free license key is option here. So I'm going to copy this one and let's go here and uh, here type in the license key. Save the changes. It says that active free version. Okay, now let's move on to the next one question and answer okay now this is one of the option that you can enable on the product question and answer so you can check this enable and if you want to add recapture you need to enable it and enter the product keys display count of answer and questions enable this one and enable this one save the changes so we are going to enable question and answer on the product page so let's go ahead and refresh this one now when I refresh, now you will see that there are two reviews and you will see this histogram here as well as you will see search bar, add a review option is there, most recent and here you will see an option question and answer so customer will be able to ask question and you will be able to answer the questions also. So when I click on add review, you will see the 5 star rating as well as the comment box and from here customer will be able to browse image of their product and upload it we will do it later so let's go back and go to the next emails okay so these are the email options you can let's go to manage review reminder okay you will see the different options here from name is your store name from email this is reply to address so you can and enter your email address here so this is the title, the subject, the email heading, and this is the body of the email. There are some short course that you can use the save the changes here. So these are the basic settings of this plugin. So now let me open this website in another browser. Here I'm logged in as a customer. And here I can see the reviews option with histogram and we can upload or download from here. And we can also go to question and answer and ask question. So here I need to enter the question and click on submit. Click OK. Okay, now let's go back to admins dashboard and go to reviews. So here you will see the already published reviews listed. Here you will see the question and answer that we just entered. So here you will the you will see the customer name, approve it. And you can also reply it let's say 50 ml whatever your answer is I'm going to click on reply okay now let's go back to customer dashboard and here refresh it and we will see if we can if you can see the question and answer here yes you can see that what is the size and this is the reply from the store manager so this is how you can use this free plugin to add more features to the reviews as well as you can add question and answer to your product page. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.